Okay, general mapping has been done. So let's take a look at the output files. Okay, so let's ls into the map directory. So we see ls mapped and we will see the output files. This is the BAM file. It contains alignment records. We also have three log files here. This one, this, and then this. And we also have this file, which contains information about the reference sequence. Now with the log files, this one contains mapping statistics. This one is the main log file and it contains a lot of detailed information. And this can be useful for troubleshooting and then debugging. This one is a progress log file. And this is where star um, writes the progress. Okay, it writes the progress of uh, whatever mapping activity it's doing at that time. So in an interval of one minute, that is every one minute, star generates a progress report and the report is stored or saved in this file. Okay, so with the file output, I'll focus on the BAM file and then the mapping statistics log file. I'll start with the mapping statistics log file. It's a text file, so I can use the cat command to display the content. So I can say cat mapped and then I give the file name. So let's run this command. Okay, the mapping statistics has been displayed for us. Whenever you perform a mapping text, one of the things you have to look for is the number of reads that's mapped to the reference sequence. Let's take a look at the uniquely mapped reads. This is the number, and in terms of percentage, it is 82.20. Ideally, we should have majority of our reads mapping to the reference sequence, and that is what we've seen here, so things are looking good. We can also visualize this mapping statistics report here. Okay, so what we are going to do next is to run multi QC and then use that to aggregate everything here and then generate a plot for us. So we can do that and then view the plots. So let's do that. So I will say multi QC and then I will specify the log file, which is mapped, and then I give the name. So let's run this command. Okay, the multi QC activity has been done. So these are the outputs. Okay, so that's what we are going to view. So we are going to view this using our web browser. If you do an LS, you will find them there. So we have this and we have this. So that's what we are going to look at next. So let's open the HTML file with our browser. So this is the multi QC report for the star mapping activity. Okay, so let's open it with our browser. Okay, so it has been opened. So this is what we have. Okay, so what we have here, you can use the information here to um, kind of interpret. Okay, so each color here, um, represents um, a report and we have them here so this color is for uniquely mapped reads and we can see that majority of the reads um, mapped uniquely okay to the reference sequence we also have other ones here so one cool thing about multi queues is that it's able to aggregate reports so it's useful especially in situations where you have lots of samples it can be cumbersome trying to open the report for each sample but if you aggregate all of them into a single document then it's easy to uh, look at them and then also do your comparison so multi qc is a cool tool for doing that so that's about it